This video is going to discuss finding the constant of proportionality. We've talked in a previous video about the constant of proportionality, but we haven't really discussed what that is. I know this definition is long, but please pause the video and write it down anyways. It's going to be a little confusing, but the, video will, the rest of the video will help explain. So the constant of proportionality is when you have two quantities that are in direct proportion. Now this only works if your quantities are in direct proportion. You can't find a constant of proportionality unless your quantities are in direct proportion. The constant of proportionality is a constant. Um, usually we refer to the constant in this situation as k that when multiplied by the in independent variable, which is x, would get you to your dependent variable. The equation we use uh, for constant of proportionality or any direct proportion equation we call y equals kx and that's going to come in very useful to you so make sure you write this down. Because direct proportion is sometimes called direct variation the constant of proportionality is also sometimes called the constant of direct variation or the constant of variation. Remember this? I'm going to guess that the definition of the constant of proportionality probably didn't help you a lot. So let's go back to one of the examples we showed in the last video, which was the cost of a box of screws cost two dollars. In the last video we showed you the table which related the screws purchase with the total cost and then we had our equivalent ratios and because we knew that these were all equivalent we knew that our relationship was directly proportional now if we simplify any of these ratios we are going to get two dollars per box or two to one so then our constant of proportionality is going to be two dollars or two to one Using the equation that was given to us at the beginning of the video, y equals kx, we could go ahead and write an equation that would relate the cost in dollars to the boxes of screws purchased, since we know that k now, or constant of proportionality, is $2, we can go ahead and write y equals $2 times the number of boxes, or y equals 2x. This is Zelly Dog. She is what we call slow and steady. This example says the table below shows how fast Zelly walks in miles m to hours h. Determine if the table shows a directly proportional relationship, and if so, determine the constant of proportionality and write an equation of direct proportion. So first we need to figure out if Zelly's walk is a directly proportional relationship. So let's see. We are going to start by making our ratios in miles. Right, Miles is dependent. How many miles she goes is dependent on how many hours she's walking. So miles in this case would be the dependent variable. And let's see. So in three miles, it took her one hour, six miles, two hours, nine miles, three hours. I can see that these are directly proportional because they are all equivalent to three miles per one hour. So then my constant of proportionality will be three miles or three miles per hour. I'm going to just write k equals 3, or k equals 3 miles per 1 hour. Now I need to write my equation of direct proportion, which is fairly easy. I'm going to write m, my dependent variable, equals 3h. 3 times the number of hours she walks equals the total miles walked. 